Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Unboxing and Stuff Garage Edition. Today we're going to be unboxing the Tough Built C700 job site sawhorse and table. It's the two pack of the C700 stands. So let's go ahead and get them out of the box and then we'll talk about it a little bit. Okay, so here they are, and these guys are a little bit heavy, but it's a two pack of these C700s. Let me reframe a little bit and then we'll talk about these sawhorses. Okay. So here we have the Tough Built C700 Sawhorse. Tough Built makes six different models of their sawhorse, and this one is the strongest and most feature packed out of the six. So the C700 can support up to 1,300 pounds per stand or 2,600 pounds for the pair. It has 100% steel construction, just like all of their six models. It is a heavy duty powder coat and zinc plate finish, just like the other models. It has an easy carry handle built right into the top, which is the same as the other ones. Five of the other ones also have the ability to make a, or five out of the six have the ability to make a job site table using these end pieces here. You can put a two by four in and then put plywood on top with between the two providing a table. This model also has the material support pegs on the sides, which, let's see, right here in the picture, it's kind of small for you guys to see, but I'll show you in person here once I set this thing up. Um, but that allows you to support something like a sheet of plywood on the side of a single stand, which is really neat. And only three of the other models have that ability. This model, along with two others, have the ability to have pivoting feet, which provides a, a much sturdier footing for the sawhorse. <clears throat> so if you're on uneven ground or something like that, it's a lot more useful. And it just provides more stability in general and grip on the floor, so that way it's not sliding around as you're trying to use it. This sawhorse has adjustable height legs along with two other of the lower models and then finally we get into the three specifications that make this sawhorse unique from the others so here on the ends we have adjustable teeth which allows for anywhere from a 2x4 up to a 4x4 for your job site table. So you can make a very robust job site table with that. So it also has the ability to fit a sacrificial two by four on top while using the job site table feature. And on the back here, we have one of my favorite features, which are two cutting brackets that you can lay a two by four across so you can make a quick cut without having to clamp it down or anything. It kind of just holds itself in place. And we'll actually test that later and see how that works. So let me grab the instructions and I will show you uh, the provided instructions, which are pretty cool, pretty good. So let me grab them. Okay, so as you can probably kind of see, uh, not very well there. Here's the job site instructions. And I'll get a close up of these to put up here right now. And it gives you very in depth instructions on how to do every little bit of everything that these are capable of doing. So let me go ahead and reframe, set up the frame so that way I can set this sawhorse up. And we'll test out some of the features and see how they work. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and press the pin here on the side where it's labeled open first. Press that in, which releases the leg. The leg opens up, and then you can fold it out, like so. 
And then you have your center bar here, and you want to go ahead and just press that down until that locks, locking the legs out. And then you're going to repeat the process on the other side. So we're going to go ahead and press our button, releasing our legs. These still have some packing foam on them. And then you're going to open to the left and to the right. Set it down here. And we're going to go ahead and force the center there. And there you go. So that's as easy as it is to just set up as a sawhorse. Now, if you'd like to raise the sawhorse, you go ahead and throw out the cam lock on the front and on the back. There's a second one. And you can go ahead and lift up the side and they operate separate from each other. So you can go ahead and slide it down to whatever height you'd like. Lock it in place. Same thing for that one. And then we'll just repeat on the other side. Okay, now we have our sawhorse set up. It is at the maximum height. Uh, so at this point, we're going to go ahead and just demonstrate a few of the different features and then how the sawhorses can work together to make a table and so on. So first, we're going to flip out these two tabs at the bottom here. And then we're going to take the only piece of plywood that I have, which is actually a small one because I already used it, to demonstrate uh, you can take your plywood and lean it up on here and then if you had a full width piece it would go up like so but across the two obviously so I thought that feature was really cool so that way you can take a saw cut it somewhere along here if you want needed to it'll be interesting to see if that's something that I use I'm not sure if it's something I will need or not but I'm glad I have it Our next feature that we're going to show is this shelf right here, cutting support, which allows you to take a 2x4, place it right on there, and then it supports it very nicely. I mean, it's very sturdy. It's not going to just fall off or shake off. And then you can take something like a circular saw or a jigsaw. And then you can go ahead and cut off at the end. So, I need to make a couple cuts for another project, a couple uh, two foot long pieces of two by four. So let's go ahead and mark up this board and we'll make those cuts. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put on our safety glasses and then we're going to go ahead and make our cut. Get lined up here. Put pressure on the back side of the board. Well, that was easy. So, that worked out really well. It, the board didn't fight me at all. But the problem is here, our board's going to be too short for our second cut, so it's not actually going to be able to span both of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reposition the sawhorses so they're close enough together that I can put pressure on top the old-fashioned way, and then we'll go ahead and make our second cut. Okay, well that works well. Uh, it's definitely a lot harder because you have to apply a lot more pressure onto the actual board to keep it from sliding or moving. So let's go ahead and reposition and then we'll take a look at how we can make a job site table out of this. 
Okay, so the first thing we're going to demonstrate here is setting up a job site table using a 2x4. So there's these tabs here opposite of the cutting tab, and you're going to fold it out, and you're able to slide these all the way out to the 4x4 side size, or here to the 2x4 size. So we're going to go ahead and slide both of ours to the 2x4 size. We're then going to take a 2x4, place it in the jaws, and then I think you, this is the way I like to do it, just put a little bit of pressure, just so it kind of locks it in nicely. And then you're going to take your plywood and set it on top. And if I was actually going to use this table for anything heavy duty, I'd put a couple screws throughout this board just to hold it in place. Now there is one more method for the 2x4 that we can take a look at here. I'm going to go ahead and open these tabs, slide it out. So inside here there's this little metal piece that folds down. which raises the 2x4 up a little bit. So that way you can actually use another 2x4 Oops. So that way you can use another 2x4 across the top of your sawhorse and you could also put some very short screws through that and that would protect it even further. And then once again, after placing two by fours here and here, put it on top and secure the plywood to the sawhorses. And there's several of them that can do that. Two by four size table. But with this particular set of sawhorses, like I said before, you can also use a four by four. So if we're putting something real heavy on this table, and we want it to be very secure, then we can use something like a 4x4, which can hold an immense amount of weight. And this is by far your most secure option for something heavy onto this table. Then you can put your plywood, you can even use thicker plywood if you wanted. And then I would put some screws along the length of the 4x4. That way it's more secure, not going to slide. And then also with that piece in here that folds down, it will actually center so you can raise up a 4x4 as well. So you can still put that sacrificial piece of lumber here so you're not marring up the top of your sawhorses. Okay, so you undo this latch here, get slide all the way out, get your 4x4 here, 2x4 here. So you go to 2x4 size, you take a 2x4, slide it right in there. Or if you want to raise it up so you can actually put the sacrificial 2x4 down, you just flip up this metal piece here, clamp this in place, and that allows for another 2x4. To lay right here so that way you can have a secure table all across here and it's actually taking the uh, brunt of the abuse off of your sawhorse and you can also do the same thing with the 4x4 so you can raise it up pull it out take our 4x4 put it in place put a little pressure clamp it down and just put the table on top or can actually take our piece here in the middle, which centers and raises this guy up, allowing you to once again use a 2x4 across the center piece. Okay, so now that I've had a little bit of a chance to mess with this setup of sawhorses, uh, I have to say that I am actually very happy and extremely impressed. This is exactly what I wanted. I searched around on Amazon for quite a while looking for all sorts of different uh, sawhorse options and this brand was by far the most reasonable price with the most 
feature packed set of sawhorses and I would definitely recommend this to anybody who's looking for a high quality set of sawhorses. Uh, I have obviously not taken these out and used them like a construction worker every day, day in and out for a long period of time. However, from the little use I have done with them so far, I would think that they would last very well as long as you didn't extremely abuse them, as if you took care of them while you're using them, you know, and not destroying them. Uh, but I think anybody who bought this set would be very happy. I give it, at this point in time, it has to be a full 10 out of 10 because there's nothing that is on here that I don't think is easy to use or really should be changed at this point in time. Uh, that may change over time, you know, and I may find something in the future that I don't like. But at this point in time, I'm just super happy with them. I'm glad I bought them and I'm looking forward to using them with different projects I have coming up in the future. So I think that about covers it for my review. If there's any questions you guys have, feel free to leave them down in the comments. Um, I would definitely recommend these. If you're looking for a nice set of sawhorses that's at a reasonable price, they're not the cheapest by far, but they're not extremely expensive. So I would recommend them. They're stable, they're sturdy, and they seem like they're good quality. So uh, definitely check these out. I'll leave a link to the Amazon down in the description. And if I ever become an affiliate, I will change that so that it notes that it's an affiliate link. But at the time of this video, it is not. So at this point in time, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, click the bell if you want to be notified, and go ahead and like the video as well if you liked it. You can also follow me on Twitter if you want. I post random videos and pictures and you know other little tidbits on there that you won't see over here on YouTube and uh, you can actually find that link down below as well. So at this point in time, I'd just like to say thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next unboxing and stuff, Garage Edition.